That's living. It's in your DNA whether you're going to be that way. Um, as a kid growing up, I, I loved me rabbit and duck shooting. And, yeah, yeah. And that's where I started. That's where I cut my teeth on, really. And respect for the, for animals first. Yep. So being a 12 year old, I couldn't be in the neck of a rabbit. And Dad said, "You're not you're not ready yet." <laughs> and I was doing. Uh, Twelve-year-olds do, doing the arm presses, trying to bring up, <laughs> strengthening the arms so, so I could go tra trapping with him. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I, twelve months later, he said, "I think you might be right." You know, I was that was the way I hunting was. You know, yeah. With the deer hunting, I, I didn't start. I started. Um, and how did that come about for you? Well, um, I was. Uh, I was uh, like uh, with hunting and all that, and I played footy. Yep. And I, you know, I wanted to play for Collingwood, but didn't have the body. I could play footy, but just couldn't take the hits. Right. And, um, got injured a fairly bit. Took up trap shooting, done pretty well at that, but repetition. Yeah. And someone said, "Oh, we're going." Well, I enjoyed camping. That was the main part of the of it. With deer hunting, you got everything. Yep. You got your camping, your hunting when you feel like it. Then you can do a bit of fishing. Yep. Um, I just love the, the bush lifestyle, the environment, and I think that's what most guys do too. But um, like anyone that started hunting, it was like a learning curve. I did not I think it was 12 months before I shot my first deer. Yeah. And luckily, maybe maybe not lucky. I shot a stag. Yeah. Well, I wasn't a good head, but I was over the moon over it. You know? Absolutely. As you would be, you know. Yes. Um, and that was it. That I was I was hooked. And 40 years later, I'm still hunting. Mm. So in the same places, which is amazing. Oh, I love me Wanangatta. I love I love the Maroka area. I love I love Dargo. I love all those areas. Lakola. Um, we got deer out here. I, I filmed a stag just five minutes away from my place, but mm. it's not the same. It's no, not, it's not. It's no, not the same. I, I just um, I just love to go out the bush and mm. if it's raining in the morning, or snowing the next day, or something like that. And, I just go to it's a bugger. I'll go and have a sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And wait for that deer o'clock. Yeah, and just I've, play so, I've started something with this deer o'clock. Yeah, yeah. As I say, I'm prime time. Prime time. Yeah. As I say, a lot of guys. I remember some guys used to go up and they hunt all morning and then come back to camp. Come, you know, dog and you know, you know I just say worn out yeah. and then they, they have something to eat and then go back yeah go, what why don't you just take a cut lunch with your old home singers or something or something to eat and stay there all day yeah then make the, that's how it probably started how i started hunting from the tops yeah because when i started from hunting the tops i started seeing a lot of deer, lot of deer but the prime objective was filming you know? yeah i wasn't so much about hunting i got luckily i probably got the hunting out of my system with a rifle prior. Oh, look, as I said, 20 years, 25 years, and you know, I had, we had a lot of success, you know, but that's yeah. what you do as a young guy. Yeah, it's, yeah that's it, true. It, and I, I got a lot of mates who are young guys that you know, get on my websites and on Facebook, and they just say, you know, do it while you can, because when you get to my age, yeah, well, you start to slow up. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, though. Yeah, so, yeah. Now, but you've come, like, full circle, you could say, hey, like, definitely. No, I, I'm happy, with, I'm content. Yeah. Yeah. But I still love going up the bush, still like, I still happening. get an adrenaline rush when I see a deer. Like I yeah. said, um, it's still there. Yeah. It's still, there's a little bit of the boy still in me. Um, I don't know how you can put it down, experience. I mean, you, that's experience doesn't, it, it's a bit like any of your you know yourself riding bikes and that, what you've done, and and blokes playing golf. You don't get the experience till you've sort of done, cut, done a bit. Of yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's a learning curve with sand, uh, and that's what I'm trying to do now. Is get it across the young guys. Yeah. As you say, you just shot a hog deer and you tickled pink. You've got mm -hmm. just caked it out. Mm -hmm. um, got the meat. You've done it the hard way. Yeah. You know, I, I know that. Oh no, that's what it's about. That's right, that's what you're proud about though, to do. Oh yeah, yeah. and that doesn't leave you as you get no, older. It won't. Yeah. It doesn't leave you, you have the memories. Yeah. And that's what I, all I, I look at now is, uh, luckily being, being a photographer, uh, I was just taking 
photos or any, any good moves, I'll take a photo yeah. of it. Yeah. It, it might have been a bloody the kid to go across a track or something like that, or digging a hole, I'll take a photo of it. Yeah. You know, but, but that's the thing is, don't just focus on the deer. Yep. Focus on every, the whole surrounding. Oh, that's right. You miss everything if you just chase oh, the deer. Yeah. Like well, you said, that's though. what I'm trying to get through my YouTube channel. Is yep. to, just to, 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 to don't focus on the deer. Focus on the whole picture. Yeah. You know, like as I said, um, even even sometimes we we go up there and we just look for cast antlers. Yep. Someone said, oh, you've got a nice collection of cast antlers, but then sometimes we weren't hunting for the deer, we were looking for cast antlers. We'd go into an area and just look for them, and uh, yeah, nine times out of ten we'd find something. Mm. As I said, you've seen the 33 inch mm. antler, well, we've right. seen the deer that come off, so yeah. that, that's, I can associate. Absolutely. Yeah. And that doesn't happen much these days, that whole association with like some of those deers you said you watched for four years or you watch him grow up to yeah. when you took him, which is yeah. pretty phenomenal stuff really. Yeah. As I say, it gets difficult as you get older. And, uh, I mean, I feel the pinch a bit now, I'm getting older, but mm. I still get there. It just takes a bit a bit longer. Yep. You know, when I was young, I, I mean, I could run up the hills backwards. <laughs> Um, and a, f a few of the mates I used to take and they, they'd just say, do you reach your super fit? Yep. Now they're past me. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's and I'm told But you were just heel fit too, hey, you know? Oh, the conditioning. It's yeah. called conditioning. Yeah. I mean, there's difference. Like, um, you get sprinters who can do it and that. They, they go to train and to get that conditioning too to be able to run fast. But standard, it's, Long, it's like you've got to have a good engine. Endurance, yeah. Endurance. Yeah. It's not like run up a hill. Um, I'm still looking, I'm gazing everywhere. Um, peripheral vision. Yeah. That's what it is. Peripheral. Oh, huge, huge. Huge. Yeah. Smell, nose. Yeah. I, I'm not good because I smoke, I can't smell the deer. So yeah, Ray went for the same thing. You may go, oh, you smell that stab. I'm like, yeah. No, it's definitely nose on the tree, you know. He gave up smoking for a while, like he, he doesn't smoke anymore, but his sense come back and yep. his sense was better actually. We I remember going on a backpack trip and and we were there and, and he said, I smell a stag. And I said, No, oh, <laughs> turn my nostrils inside, I can't smell it. Yeah. And we'll go and he's sure enough he's a scrape where the stag had just urinated yes. and um, I said, Gee, you, your senses come good. He said, Well, I'm not saying you give up smoking, but no. it might be a bit hard. Yeah, yeah. I had a brother and mother that smoked, and um, they had the same difficulty. As I said, I told my brother to keep smoking. <laughs> Got that narky. But um, yeah, if I was lucky, I probably never. I, I had to smoke when I was a kid, but yeah. um, didn't, didn't get out of my system because I wanted to play footy. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Wanted to be the best football going, but. Yeah. Just didn't have the, I didn't have the credentials, the body. Run like a whippet. Um, but that look, it was a good way. I got injured a fair bit, and mm -hmm. I stopped at 26, which was good. And then I started me trap shooting and, yep. and got into hunting, and ne I never looked back. Yeah. As I said, for a young kid, you're looking for fitness, and endurance, and um, just a lot magnificent lifestyle. I look at, Nothing better than sitting around a campfire at night on a cold winter's night and have a big fire there, talking with mates. And I, I told you what happens as you get older, the stags get bigger. Yeah, and that's what I was going to ask you. Like, um, you obviously did a lot of your solo hunting, and now you're getting in, you do a bit more. You've always done the social hunt too. Yeah, no, I've done both. Yeah, yeah I always said I guided choice. for five years. And yeah. Good and bad. Yeah. I was good. As I said, I, I might have mentioned in one of my YouTube's that. I sort of got five years was enough because I found, uh, well, not out of respect, but yeah, look, blokes want to guide to find out locations and go guiding with you, you find them, and then uh, over a period of time you find those guys, not just for them, but their mates, and the areas are getting, get, yeah, sort of, but that's, no one's got any secret spots, either, so. No, Give that's a, true. A lot more hunters. Yeah, a lot, oh, a lot more hunters. Compared to your day, yeah. Yeah, but look, more deer, yep. more hunters, um, probably the sad part, part is a lot of the stags don't get past that certain age. Yes, and um, that's a bit of a thing, that's a real thing these days, like, that's what I keep emphasising about what you did, you were watching deer and you could quite often come back to that hill 
glass that face and he might pop up once or twice a couple more times it's harder years. for you now because you've got you've got more people competing for stags and um, we're back in our day we could watch a stag at four you know three or four years old yeah and we watched him over a period of time we'd say oh he's going to be a good stag in a few years yeah and we we let him go we might see him the year after or the year after and then when you get to about seven, you know, well, you've got this bloody 30-inch head in there, you know. Like, yeah. But then in seeing him, you know, you're probably the same. It's it's about the hunt, quality of the hunt. Yep. It's not so much about... Um, we are, I think this is where, with technology, it's gone a little bit haywire. Blokes aren't, don't appreciate or see what Sandra are. Yeah. When you get close to deer and you see them... I was telling you some stories yep. before, which are true, and not, not maybe 50-50. No tall tales, you reckon? Yeah. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> but, um, What's yeah, the no, Sandra but, hunt without a tall tail, though? Oh, as I said, they go around camp, you know, 30 <laughs> turns into a 40. And, yeah. uh, did you see that 50 inch? Yeah. Oh, what, right away, 50 inch, yeah. And we used to have a <laughs> saying, oh, where, where, where your hunting spot expert? And, you know, I was say, A, B, C, D, F, D, and they say, that's where I hunt. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. It was a bit of a sort of thing. I, was, I mean, a lot of guys say, oh, where are you hunting? I'm, I'm hunting the bush. Yeah. It's a little, like, a little bit like, find your spots. Mm -hmm. oh, Do the hard work. Yeah. But then when I was guiding, you, well, you, then you see the other side of it. Yeah. Where guys, are, you go and shoot a stag and then the next couple of months they're taking their mates in there. You know, like, um, there's that little bit of disrespect as when I was... And I had other mates that knew where I was hunting. Loose lips. Loose lips, sink ships, yeah. But, but I was guiding and I was making some money out of it. It wasn't much. I remember one bloke shooting 28. And I hope he won't hear this, but um, <laughs> he got shot it and, and he wanted to go to the next stag. And um, I said, no, it's, your hunt's over, mate. You yep. just got shot that. And I just told him, now I've got to spend weeks looking for that stag. I, I catch, caught up with him yep. 12 months later. Oh, yeah. He actually cast and threw the worst head you ever. And I walked up to him and he was behind a tree actually, sleeping. And I had the rifle, I, I should have put him out of his misery, but so it lasted 12 months. Mm. He might throw the worst head. Mm. I just didn't, couldn't put him down. Mm. You see, you've, you've got through the wound and what he went through that over that period of 12 months. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs>